Hi, I'm Margaret Lewin and welcome to Margaret Lewin Quilting. Today I have a completely different project for you. It's a very quick and easy project and what you will end up with is something for yourself and something to share with a friend. So this is what it is. It is a shawl or scarf. Can you see the neat frayed edges? This is a fabric by Anna Maria Horner and she does fabric collections for Westminster Fibers or Free Spirit, I think it is. This collection is part of the Luminous collection and this one's actually called Candy and I just love it. I think it's gorgeous. While I was in the quilt shop, I also picked up this fabric because we all know I wear a lot of black. I hope you can see it because it's really gorgeous. And what I'm going to do is make this scarf for my upcoming trip. I thought it would be great on the airplane just because sometimes my shoulders get cold and I thought I would wear it. So I'm gonna show you how you go about making it. So stay tuned, thanks. So I'm gonna show you, if you wanna see how I made it, stay tuned and I will show you step by step. Thanks. This is what I'm starting with. I did got two yards of the fabric and you can get any place from two to two and a half. Much more than two and a half is gonna be a really long scarf. I'm pretty sure I'm about five foot three. So the two yards seem to be really good to me. So I got two yards of fabric and you can see I folded it up into a quarter. So I've, I folded it and I did press it, but the only reason why I pressed it was to make it a little bit easier for myself. Here's my folded side, and this is my um, salvage side. So what I'm going to do is, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a really scant cut down this the fold side, because I, want, I need to make two of these. So I'm just gonna take my large ruler. This is my creative grids. Let's see, what one's this one? This one is eight and a half by, or seven and a half? No, eight and a half by, 24 I think it is and a half so anyhow what I'm doing is I'm just sliding this right up to the edge because I want to just cut a scant amount off and I'm gonna go right on down and just get rid of that my next cut is over on this side I have to get rid of my salvage so I'm just gonna take my ruler and I'm just gonna come in about a quarter of an inch and I'm gonna do my best to get rid of all of this salvage. And I actually may end up in about a half an inch by the time I get done, but that's okay. And you know, I just gotta get rid of, I gotta get rid of all this salvage. So I'm gonna do that. So now I've got two, whoops, I've got two pieces of fabric here. There we go. I got two pieces of fabric here. So next step is I'm gonna take them over to my sewing table and I'll take you with me and show you how I go about hemming them, okay? I've got my two pieces of fabric and you can see one of them. And what I'm going to do is I've got my sewing machine threaded with my Aurifil Gray. This is number, let me find the number for you. This is number 2600. So it's the gray. Yep, 2600. So my, I've got my gray Aurifil thread in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna top stitch a scant quarter down both of the long sides of my fabric. And then once I've done that, I'll come back and show you the next step. Okay, so now that I've sewn a quarter of an inch all the way down, I'm gonna take this over to my pressing station and I'm going to just iron it down. Now the reason for that quarter of an inch stitch was just to give me a guide so that I know that I've got a nice even quarter of an inch all the way down. So I'm gonna press that and then I will come back to my sewing machine and I'm just gonna roll it one more time and then I'll top stitch it down. 
So I'll see you when that part's done. All right, so you can see I've pressed it once and I actually went ahead and pressed it again. So now I'm just gonna go right down and I'm just gonna top stitch it. Now, if you wanted to use a decorative stitch through here, that might be really, really pretty, but I'm just gonna do a plain old simple straight stitch. The next step is I'm gonna measure up from the bottom up six inches and I'm gonna draw a line with one of my friction pilot pens, the ones that, that disappear with the heat. So I'm gonna go up six inches. So four, five, six, about six inches. And I'm just gonna draw a line. Now the six inches is what my um, fringe is gonna be. Now, if you want more fringe, you can go up higher than six inches. If you want less fringe, you can go lower than six inches. I'm gonna do that on both sides, and then I'm going to go back to the sewing machine and I'm gonna zigzag from here all the way to the end on both ends of my fabric. So that's the very next step, and that's actually, you're all done sewing at that point. So I've marked one side, I'm gonna flip it over and mark the other side. And again, oh, I got some extra threads. I'm just gonna come up six inches from the bottom. Oh, tuck, tuck. Just come up six inches from the bottom. And I'm gonna draw another line. So there's that. I'll do that on both of them and then I'll meet you back at the sewing machine. All right, so my last step is I'm gonna change my foot on my sewing machine from my quarter inch foot to my zigzag foot, which for my machine is the number one. And as I said, I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna zigzag all the way down. Now, when you were sewing this and folding it over, you could have stopped six inches before the end of it and just that would have been it you would have just back stitched there i i haven't decided on this one if i'm going to just cut this away or if i'll undo my sewing i haven't figured that one out not real sure but i think i don't know i'm going to start by zigzagging once I get the zigzagging done, I'll come back and show you. All right, so I want to show you my zigzag. This is what I, how I zigzagged it. It's a really tight zigzag. My width was at two and my length was at one on my sewing machine. So you can see it's a really tight zigzag, but there's a reason for it. The other thing that I did was I also took out my stitches. If you, you can definitely stop your sewing six inches before you get to the end. I kept sewing and didn't need to. But the nice thing about this is I now have a really defined line to trim it. And I'm going to end up trimming that off as I get closer. The next step is the most boring part about this whole thing. I suggest that you grab... Um, I suggest that you do this at night in front of the television because it just is really boring. I'm going to take, I have one of these Omni mats that travel. It's one of those folding ones. On one side there's a pressing and on the other side is my, is my cutting mat. And I'm going to take my scarves and I'm going to lay them down on here. And what I'm going to do is start picking my threads. Now, the needle or the pin that I've got is one of my pins that I use to attach quilts to my long arm. It's actually called a corsage pin, and it's two, yeah, it's a full two inch pin. So you're gonna want a big pin to do this or a big needle of some sort to do this that you can easily hold on to. What you're going to do is you start by just scratching your fabric because the scratching loosens the threads and then you're just going to pull it and you're going to keep doing that and it makes a mess. You end up with a lot of threads all over the place. You keep doing that all the way to the end. Now it's easiest to do it from the middle 
and work your way out. And sometimes you get too many, then you gotta just back off and just do one or two at a time. But it'll, I mean, it takes a while to do it, but it's so worth it in the end because the scarf is just mega cute. So I'm gonna keep doing this and it'll take me, oh, probably a couple of nights to do each one of them. So this is a good full week project that'll keep me content while the husband watches television at night. So this is what you do and that's all there is to it. This is really nothing, it's easy. It's kind of one of those like no brain things that, that don't bother you. And once you get to the end, it gets really simple because you're just gonna go as close to that as you, as close to your zigzag as you can, and that's it, it's done. If you want to take your pieces and braid them when you're done, you're welcome to do that. I ended up um, not braiding mine, or you can group them and um, tie them in a knot so that they're grouped, you know, like grandma's afghans were at the end. You can do anything you want, but I just left mine plain because I thought, well, this looks cute. So that's it. And you're going to do that all the way to the end. Simple, simple. It is kind of addicting. Once you get going, you don't want to stop. I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial on how I made my little summer or springtime scarf. I think this will be really nice to carry on the airplane with me. It'll be a little bit warm, you know, just another layer of fabric. Plus, I think it really looks nice. I think it's nice and sharp. Pay close attention because I did change a little bit on how I did this. At the very end, what you can do is stop sewing cinch stop sewing six inches before you get to the end and then that way you won't have to take out any stitches like i had to do so thank you so much for joining me today i hope you're having a great week and i'll see you again soon bye